Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to the latest instalment in Todd and Dane's Indie Read Along. So this is a monthly read along that Todd the Librarian and I do. Anyone is welcome to join in. All you have to do to join in is read at least one indie book for the month and uh, Todd and I document it through videos. I know Time for Books takes parts as well. Feel free to join in. This month, I'm gonna be doing a quick review of The Method by Duncan Ralston. We have here from the author of Womb and Salvage. Uh, I've read both of those. I think we have some reviews. I'll link to them in the description if so. And uh, we've got the tagline, Love is Pain. This is from Shadow Work Publishing. I will read you the blurb. How hard will you fight for the one you love? Frank and Linda's marriage is falling apart. When old friends tell them about an unconventional therapy retreat called The Method, they jump at the chance to attend. Lone Loon Lodge is a secluded resort deep in the Montana wilds. The staff is friendly. The other couple joining them is intense. But when a death occurs, events quickly spiral out of control, leaving Linda and Frank unable to trust anyone but each other. Nothing is what it seems, and only one thing is certain. Love is pain. We have a quote here from James Newman, author of Animosity, Ugliest Sin and Odd Man Out. He said, the method is one of those stories that subverts the reader's expectations again and again. And that's a pretty good description of it because it is, it's kind of a thriller novel along the lines of things like uh, Girl on the Train or Gone Girl. Except for me, this reminded me more of We Are Lucifer by Amy McLean, which again, I'll link to my review of that. Uh, another kind of uh, indie release. They're both repped by publishers, but uh, I mean, I count it as indie if it's not Random House or whatever, basically. But I don't have the greatest history with thrillers, really. and. I always, I don't know whether I expect more than they're able to deliver or something like that, but I always kind of tend to feel disappointed. But that didn't really happen with this one, especially because some of the sort of twists and turns, especially towards the end, are so far off what I expected that it it really took me by surprise, I guess. It almost, I don't know, it almost feels like it switches genres at times, you know? There are some, it definitely goes from thriller into kind of almost Blair Witch style horror, but then there are kind of, not quite sort of sci science fictional slash mysticism parts to it, I guess. I want to go in and uh, highlight some of the passages that I enjoyed. So what have we got here? So we have this thing as well as they kind of arrive at, uh, you know, the place they're staying at to undergo the method, which is this sort of treatment by this kind of unknown figure. They never really meet the guy who's behind the method who invented it, you know. But uh, they arrive and uh, we get this little conversation here. We think we can only take so much pain, Alex let his hand fall to his side. That's what we think, but the well always runs deeper. That's, that's pretty deep. Frank noticed he'd just repeated Alex's sentiment and chuckled awkwardly. Want some free advice, Mr Moffat? This weekend will make you or break you. Fight for what you love. If it's worth it, you'll know. And I should mention that basically they're recommended the method by this other couple that they know. But they do notice something weird's going on, like they, they look like they've been roughed up a bit. And I think the official explanation, they say they were in a car accident. But we start to suspect otherwise as we learn more and more about what's actually going on at this sort of secluded retreat. I like this little bit of uh, character building here, the, the main main guy called Frank. And uh, he, he kind of works in like building safety and um, you know regulation codes and that kind of thing. So I'm going to just read this. They passed the kitchen where a fat hairy man sweated in front of a deep steel pot on the gas range and the small Hispanic woman plucked feathers off the goose, blood spatters on her white uniform. They passed a closed door labelled maintenance and turned toward a sunny hallway. All right. Chairs had been stacked in the far corner. At the opposite end of the corridor, the door had a fire exit sticker above a reinforced glass panel. This door should be closer to the kitchen if it's a fire exit, Frank said, and I didn't see a single extinguisher. Frank. Well, it's true. I like this little paragraph as well. So, and, and this reflects basically they're in this retreat and they're kind of being held there against their will. And um, there's a TV on and it's showing one flew over the cuckoo's nest. So I shall, I shall read it. The air down here smelled like recycled farts to Frank. He noted the TV on a mount behind the games tables where Jack Nicholson playing rebel without a cause Randall McMurphy strangled nurse Ratchet while the other patients gawked. Ha, Frank barked. Linda raised an eyebrow in his direction. This whole goddamn place is insane, Frank said and laughed again. Just a nice little bit of intertextuality there. Use a word I learned at uni, why not? We also get this really interesting bit at the end that's almost based on like the Milgram experiments where they got people to electrocute people even though they thought they were killing them. And basically at the end, the couple has to make their choices. So they both kind of think they can sacrifice themselves to let the other one go. And it's interesting to see the way they go about it. And then there's just this really, really 
cruel moment of revelation that I don't want to spoil it for you guys because um, you know I I'm assuming because it's an indie book you haven't read it but you definitely should I really enjoyed it I gave this a pretty solid four out of five maybe even a four point five or a four point two five I'll give it that why not uh, really really enjoyed it it's probably the most enjoyable thriller that I've read and again I don't have the best history with thrillers so so make of that as uh, uh, as you will. But uh, yeah, definitely recommend checking it out, especially, like I say, if you enjoy thrillers. So there we have it. That's what I thought of The Method by Duncan Ralston. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you'll be checking this book out. And if you do read it, let me know what you think of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.